Top stories tonight. President Mohamed Buhari presides of the security meeting. Assures Nigerians of adequate security. Vice President Yemi Oshimbajo, Abiodun, Amoso, others rejoice over emergence of presidential candidate. Plus, Nigeria customs by the patrol team intercept contrabands worth over 868 million naira in Ogo State. Good evening and thank you for joining us on NTA Abekuti Channel 12 News. My name is Ayala Balogo. Now the news in detail. The National Security Council is reassuring Nigerians of federal government's irrevocable commitment towards providing adequate security and maintaining law and order across the country. Member of the Council and Minister of Interior, Rauf Arebeshala, stated this while briefing journalists after the Council's meeting, says ISWAP may have been responsible for a war church attack. State House correspondent Damu Sambo has details. The National Security Council meeting, summoned by President Muhammad Buhari, reviewed all aspects of the nation's security situation. While noting with satisfaction, sustained efforts by the military and other law enforcement agencies at mitigating threats to national security and stability in the Northeast, Northwest, and North Central, the Council, however, expressed concern over the recent violent attack in Owo on the state where many lives were lost. Inspector General of Police Usmala Kalibaba says the Nigeria Police is prepared to leave no stone unturned towards executing its mandate with high sense of responsibility and patriotism. Uh, by next month, we are graduating about 10,000 policemen to, to join, uh, join us. Uh, in terms of uh, uh, logistics, we had a lot of uh, tools to work uh, more than ever before. And, uh, and uh, with better welfare and so forth, I think we should also expect better performance. To whom much is given, much is also expected. He said in the last three months alone, over 580 suspects involving high-profile crimes bordering on banditry, kidnapping, terrorism and insurgency have been arrested by the police. And in respect of the elections coming up in Ekiti and Ocean States, the council says adequate preparations have been made in terms of security towards ensuring hitch free and successful conduct. From the State House, Adamu Sambu, NTA News. And now, party politics. Dr. Kachiku Dumebi has won African Democratic Congress ADC presidential ticket. He defeated six others, including Professor Kingsley Mogalu, to win the party's ticket at the 2022 National Convention on Presidential Primary held in Abeokuta, the Ogu State Capital. Anthony Gandano has the details. 2,040 delegates across the country were accredited to elect a candidate for the African Democratic Party, ADC, in the 2023 general elections from the 12 aspirants. Three of the aspirants did not show up, while two others stepped down before the commencement of the exercise. At the end, Dr. Dumebi Kachiku clinched the party's presidential ticket with 977 votes, while his closest rival and former deputy governor CBN, Professor Kisley Mogalu, scored 589 votes, followed by Chukuka Moye, 339 votes. Princess Chichi Oj, 72 votes, and Dr. Lamido Mohammed, 2 votes. Others are Evangelist FBT Jagere, 5 votes, and Lady Angela Johnson, 1 vote. <laughs> In his assistant speech, Kachiku says the victory belongs to the party and called for support from co-contestants for the success of the party in the 2023 presidential election. Nigeria deserves better. We cannot continue to see the next four years. The time is now. This is a rescue mission. The baby has come. The election was witnessed by INEC officials and the party's board of trustees chairman, Senator Patricia Akwachichi, among other stakeholders. In Abeokuta, 
Lekon Agmade, NCO News. The Customs Joint Border Patrol Operation Sector 2 Southwest has recorded the seizure of contrabands and smuggled items worth over 868 million naira since inception in 2019. Coordinator of the operation, Mohammed Hazan, made this known in Abeokuta, Oku State, while briefing newsmen on the activities of the team in checking smuggling and other trans border crimes between Nigeria and the Republic of Benin. Jeremy Dalemo reports. The Joint Border Patrol team inaugurated after the partial opening of land borders in the country recorded the seizure of foreign paboy rice, used clothing on customized vehicles popularly known as Tokumbo, cannabis sativa, refined vegetable oil, fully built footwear and other items on restricted and prohibited lease. Coordinator of the operations, Mohammed Azan said, the Joint Border Patrol team also suppressed smuggling of petroleum motor spirit out of Nigeria to neighboring countries. Over the period we have assessed in this government warehouse alone, we have over 22,000 bags of rice that have been intercepted. We are not talking of the volume of PMS or other uh, offending goods that have been intercepted. Conducting newsmen around the items at its Apeokuta Ogmutik warehouse, Azan noted that the team also arrested a citizen of Republic of Benin with locally made firearms and detonators used in the production of improvised explosive devices and control influx of adulterated PMS into Nigeria through the border regions. The activity in government warehouse Abekuta alone is assessed over 868 million 118,400 naira only. I encourage the public to continue to be law abiding and to desist from attacking law enforcement and security operatives while engaging in their national assignment. While advising Nigerian youth against engaging in smuggling activities, the coordinator, Joint Border Patrol Team, reiterated government's unrelenting effort and commitment towards deterring all cross border violations and suppression of smuggling according to its operational mandate. In Abelkuta, Yemita Limo, NTN News. To improve the learning of science subjects amongst primary and secondary school students, Parents and other stakeholders have been advised to adequately equip the awards with modern scientific learning materials so as to enhance their interest in the subject and to ensure the technological development of the country. Vice Chancellor, Crescent University, Abeokuta, Professor Ibrahim Bajabiamila, stated this during the Maiden Physics Day celebration organized by the Department of Physics Sciences of the University. Lukbon Adeves' report is presented in this package. The maiden edition of Physics Day celebration of students in the Department of Physical Sciences, Crescent University of Belkuta, is aimed at creating awareness on the importance of physics to human life and the need to encourage students to embrace the subject. Vice Chancellor, Crescent University of Belkuta, Professor Ibrahim Bajabi Amina says physics touches every aspect of human life, hence the need to focus more on it. He advised government to invest more on infrastructure and provide equipment for science laboratories in public secondary schools, not only to arouse the interest of the students, but to also place them at vantage position wherever they found themselves. In doing modern science, modern physics, chemistry and biology, you need laboratories, you need the internet, and you need uh, the facilities to be able to understand the modern world. We have the internet to be able to work together across the globe. But if your school doesn't have water or have light or even internet, you are excluded in that. So we need to provide those facilities for our children. Speaking on the topic, physics and embodiment of many natural concepts for humans' understanding and utilization, the keynote speaker, Dr. Joseph Koka, says physics serves as basic for modern technological development and also as the instruments used in manufacturing, scientific, engineering, and modern researches. He added that studying of physics strengthens quantitative reasoning and develops the mind. Physics rules the whole world. Physics is the answer to uh, scientific and engineering needs. And uh, physics as a cause 
is needed for every one of us. If students are able to understand those fundamental sciences, it uh, widen their, their brain and uh, they become smart anywhere they are in this society. Secondary school students who attended the event were exposed to the nitty gritty of physics and how to make use of it to better their lives. The theme for this year's celebration is physics and you. Newly promoted staff of NTA Abeokuta have been charged to see the promotion as a call for more service to the organization and remain committed and dedicated to duties. The General Manager, NTA Abeokuta, Mrs. Fumi Wakaba, gave the charge during the General Staff meeting at the upper premises of the station. Our King Jibo's report is there presented. 31 in number, the newly promoted staff of NT cut across the six departments in each of the three NT stations in the three to even do more as we got welfare and as we got relating to our work. Where I've been lacking behind, I hope to, you know, move forward and do more better to move the station forward. We bless God for this opportunity. I will say thank you, Lord. Uh, thank you to the GM and the management staff. The general manager, NT Abekuta, Mrs. Fumi Wakama, all the newly promoted staff to reciprocate the gesture, charging them to step up their games, noting that promotion comes with more responsibilities. A lot of them have now moved to the migrant cadre. More is expected from them. There's going to be additional responsibilities. Uh, they can't continue to operate at the level at which they've been operating before. They need to step up. Earlier, while presenting their scorecards for the last one year, the heads of each of the departments commended Mrs. Wakama for her prompt response to issues and challenges, while the general manager in return appreciated the heads of departments for their continuous support. High point of the meeting was the presentation of letters of promotion to each of the newly promoted staff. Vice President Yemi Oshimbachi has congratulated Ashiwa Jubola Ahmed Tinembu on the victory at the ruling All Progressives Congress presidential primaries. The Vice President, in a statement he signed personally, also congratulated President Mohamed Buhari and all leaders of the APC for a successful special convention and presidential primary. Vice President Oshimba just said for many decades the standard bearer has shown passion, patriotism, courage and determination in the course of nation building. As the Vice President said, Ashiwa Jubola Tinumbu Stalin contribution to the nation's democracy and its progress stand him out, noting that his wealth of experience will certainly be critical in the party's continued efforts to attain a more secure and prosperous Nigeria. Calling on all members of the party, regardless of who they voted for at the primaries, Vice President Yemi Oshimbaja said that all members must now unite behind a presidential candidate and standard bearer to ensure victory for the party in the 2023 elections. As true progressives, the Vice President said, almost remain strong and united in pursuing the collective vision as a party towards building a country that could provide a decent life and livelihood for all the people. Ogun State Governor Prince Dakpo Abiodo has congratulated the national leader of the ruling All Progressives Congress, APC, Ashiwa Jubola Ahmed Tinumbu, for clinching the presidential ticket of the party. In a statement, Governor Abiodo noted that the emergence of Tinumbu as the APC presidential flag bearer for the 2023 general election is a good omen for the party and the country as a whole. The victory, he said, indicates that Ashiwaju Tinumbu is widely accepted within the country's political system and shows his level of interaction not only within the ruling party, APC, but across Nigeria. He added that Tinumbu as a candidate will help to foster unity, love and understanding amongst Nigerians. Governor Abiyoda noted that Tinumbu's experience and understanding of national politics will surely come in handy 
when he squares up against candidates from other political parties during the 2023 presidential election. Governor Abiodun further com commended other aspirants for their remarkable spirit of sportsmanship which they displayed throughout the process, urging the leaders and members of the APC to walk in unison with a view to ensuring victory in the general elections come 2023. Similarly, former governor of Ogun State and senator representing Ogun Central in the Senate, Senator Ibikole Amboson, has congratulated winner of the presidential primaries of the All Progressives Congress, APC, Ashiwa Jubola Ahmed Tinumbu. In a statement by Senator Amboson, he described Ashiwa Jutinumbu as a tested Democrat who will bring his experience to bear on the governance of the country. He expressed the conviction that Tinumbu's Stalin record as governor of Lagos State, he was convinced that he would offer a leadership that will consolidate the gains of democracy in the country. Senator Amosu wished Bola Ahmed Tinumbu success in the forthcoming general election. You're on to the news at 7 on NCA Abeokutse Channel 12. More news after this break. Stay with us. Me, where don't they hungry? Hey, my girl, oh, you defend my coming. <laughs> Everybody knows, say, I be real person, even for my acting. Now, original. Don't you see, mama? Enjoy my people. As now they see me so, I know they joke with anything where they bring rich flavor, such a real nutrition, and great taste. Like my checkers custard make three in one. The Totorica, Danda, and Rich Custard. Can someone get these two out of my set now? Good thing, good or bad. I no go lie. Mmm, this na custard. Checkers. Mmm, na custard be that. Welcome back. The federal government has declared Monday 13th June 2022 as public holiday to mark this year's Democracy Day celebration. The Minister of Interior, Rauf Aregwashala, who made the declaration on behalf of the federal government, congratulated Nigerians on this occasion and urged all citizens to support the present administration in its efforts at ensuring a secured, united and prosperous nation. Arabo Shala admonished Nigerians to use the occasion to reflect, to reflect on the long journey the country has made towards the enthronement of a civil democracy, democratic author before national independence in 1966 till date and the sacrifices of our patriots. He reminded Nigerians of the challenges faced and overcame, including a civil war, and said, any form of agitation that threatens the unity of a country shall be shunned for the good of all, saying the space known as Nigeria will be a haven of peace, unity and progress if all citizens love their neighbors and embrace the spirit of brotherliness. He advised Nigerians to judiciously put into use the recently unveiled Nigeria Internal, Internal Security and Public Safety, Safety Alert System and Alert Mobile App designed to mitigate security challenges and other disasters. The minister wishes all Nigerians a happy Democracy Day celebration. In the world of entertainment, Color Studios and Spotify partner up to bring Aya Star's electrifying performance to large audience as Nollywood actor Stan Nze scooped Best African Actor Award. Details in our entertainment news with Oluwa Shei Atileye. Their mutual commitment to spotlighting hot new talents across the globe, Color Studios and Spotify have announced an exciting new partnership that will showcase selected African artists. The first performer to feature for the Spotify Colors collaboration is Ayura Star. The fast rising talented artist has quickly become one of the most exciting Afrobeat stars and she brought her talent to Color Stage with more than 1.4 million monthly listeners. On that wraps up Channel 12 News tonight. I'm Ayala Balogo. Good evening. <music> Don't be hungry. Hey,
coming. <laughs> Everybody knows, say, I be a real person. Even for my acting. Now, original. Don't you the mama. Enjoy my people. As my they see me so, I know they joke with anything where they bring rich flavor, total nutrition, and great taste. Like my checkers custard made three in one. The Totorica, Banda, and Rich Custard. Can someone get this two out of my set now? Good thing, good, I beg. I no go lie. Mmm, this na custard. Checkers. Mmm, na custard be that. Mm -hmm.